congratulations on the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, maybe Jessica, I'll, I'll throw this question to you first. Uh, I mean, it must have been a very easy decision to say yes to this show, but what, what drew you into this world? Because there's so much that's going on. It's so much, so funny, so thoughtful, kind of celebrating the culture and the 80s. I mean, it's an easy decision to try and say yes to, isn't it? Yes, all the things you said. Uh, and it, it started with a really wonderful script. Uh, it was so well written, and these characters jump, jumped off the page, and uh, the character of Diane, the first time I read it, and I read her, uh, I, I heard these voices of women that I have known throughout my career, and she is based on those women uh, who are very dear to me, and... Uh, that was the first thing. And you you really, in the script, got caught into the world. And then, you know, our writers and producers and directors and art director, Richard Shepard, created this giant pink world for us, who directed the pilot and really set this, you know, pink and neon stage. Uh, and we were bubbled there for three months. So it really felt like we were living in 1984. I mean, every week, that set is where we lived. And when the, when they weren't shooting in the pool, we may be swimming in the pool and we ate in the restaurants. And uh, so it was really, we, we just immersed ourselves into 1984. Yeah. And Cord, tell me about, tell me about Chad. What, what drew you to him? Because I've only seen the first episode, so I've only seen- Ah, part. okay. So okay. Things um, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that I get to discover it with the audiences. Tell me about him. What, what drew you to, to him? I mean, I just, I, I kind of just really loved the, the how how that character was written and how I was like, oh, you know, what? I know what I can do with this and to make it like, uh, not as much an entitled kind of a like a dick, but but to kind of make him unaware and to make him a little bit more ignorant and not knowing. What he's saying is offensive, and I think that that's a. I think that was a. Re, that's a recipe for. I think everybody. Everybody is probably that way. That's that's young and I even doesn't know. You know, he's been living in Mexico for three or four years, and doesn't know a word of Spanish. And I think that there's a lot of comedy that can come out of that. That isn't malicious. Um, and I just, I just had. I, when I read it, it kind of jumped off the page and I immediately went into this like character of like what that would be like. And it was just really fun to play around with. Yeah. One of the things I loved Jessica and you, with, with your character was you get to do the kind of cheesy eighties welcome videos and all the kind of, yes. all that kind of thing, which I, I used to see a lot when I was a kid. So I just wondered Me too. <laughs> the, the, the kind of the, the discipline or the, the kind of part of your acting class or whatever to, to try and make sure that you get that as uh, as real as possible. <laughs> well, I, I think, you know, the discipline, it's funny, as in most of my work, you're constantly pulling away from those things, you know, to, and, and making everything very real. And, and when it got to the videos, I was able to just let loose and do whatever came, however silly, and really have fun with uh, the, 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 the video part of that. It's one of my favorite things that I did because it was just so, so out there. So cheesy, but so much yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> and Cord, I wanted to ask you, I mean, you're stepping into the 80s. I, I, forgive me if this is incorrect, that you weren't born in the 80s like, like I was. 89. Barely. 89. So just That's so... Right. That just you're in but you're not are you? he remembers yeah. it well <laughs> <laughs> but stepping back into the 80s how much fun is that because it's a world that you've only ever seen i guess in tv and this hotel kind of brings it so much to life yeah i mean some of my favorite movies are in the 80s um you know i've always i've loved like back to the future uh pretty in pink uh, breakfast club i mean all these they had they had this flair to them that uh i i feel like you don't really get in, in, in modern day or like, or even the nineties, it was just, everything was almost like cartoonish in a weird way. And I feel like that's such a fun character to play and to be able to like, I mean, when you see the sets around you and the clothes and the hair and you're there every day, it's like, you really feel, you really kind of get that feeling. And it feels like you kind of jump into a time machine, which is really cool. And it, it, and it, to me, it, it just really creates, 
an escape in a different world. Yeah. It's ironic that you mentioned pretty and pink given the color of your lovely hotel. <laughs> it's get, it's get yes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, guys, thank you so so much for your time. Absolute pleasure talking to you and uh, good thank luck with the show. Well. Thank yeah. you. Thanks guys. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey you guys, huh? Hey you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey you guys.